Is your product truly user friendly or are you simply assuming it is? As a product owner or a designer, you should never confuse your own personal experience with a service or product with your customer's wants and needs. In order to make a product that is intuitive and easy to use, you need to test it with your target audience. Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to UX Tweaks channel. In this video, we'll dive into the exciting world of usability testing and I'll show you why it's crucial for creating an intuitive and easy to use product. I will also share when is the best time to conduct usability testing and a step-by-step -step guide. So stay tuned. First, let's define usability testing. Usability testing is the process of evaluating a product or service by testing it with real users. You observe the users as they interact with the product and identify areas where they are confused or struggling. The testing helps to uncover design flaws and user pain points, which can then be addressed to improve the overall user experience. By optimizing the product based on usability testing results, you can create a product that users will be able to use effectively and efficiently. Usability testing answers important questions such as, how do users interact with my website? Do they have problems with completing common actions? If they get lost and confused along the way, where does it happen? What causes the confusion? Usability testing can and should be done at multiple stages of product design and development. Testing early is crucial to prevent usability problems. Conduct several rounds of usability testing on your prototypes before handing them out to developers. By doing this, you can catch all the issues with the design or structure before they become much more costly to fix. Testing just before launch will help uncover mistakes that happened when translating the design from prototypes to an actual working product. Ask your testers to complete common tasks on your website or app. Observe their behavior and identify any roadblocks in the process. Testing usability before launch ensures that the product is perfectly user-friendly and without any issues before releasing it to real users. A redesign is an opportunity to upgrade something that has been poorly designed or underperforming. To achieve that, it's crucial to understand what is wrong in the first place. Usability testing can determine precisely that. By conducting usability testing, you can uncover the problems with your current design so you can know precisely what needs improvement. The UX industry and user expectations are continually changing. It's important to adapt and upgrade your product periodically. Scheduling regular usability testing sessions every six months, for instance, can help you stay on top of changes and ensure that your product's usability is up to date. The usability testing process can be divided into seven steps. Before you start your usability testing, it's important to have a clear understanding of what you want to achieve. Define your goals and make sure they're specific. This will make your usability testing process easier. Ask yourself what you want to learn from the study and how you're going to use the findings. Decide on a method of usability testing you're going to use. Are you going to test remotely or in person? Are your studies going to be moderated or unmoderated? To gather valuable insights from your usability testing, you need to create relevant and concrete questions and tasks for your users. You can ask them to perform scenarios or even specific actions on your website to get feedback on particular features of your product. Make sure your tasks are clear and easy to understand so your users can complete them without any confusion. Running a pilot test is an important step before the actual usability testing, especially if you're testing remotely. It helps you identify any issues with your study design, such as unclear instructions, 
technical issues or unrealistic tasks. By conducting a pilot test, you can ensure that the study runs smoothly and that you get accurate results. The success of your usability testing depends on the quality of your respondents. You need to recruit users who represent your target audience and have relevant experience using similar products. You can recruit participants through various channels such as social media, uh, email, or order respondents directly from user testing platforms. You can choose to conduct the study remotely or in person depending on your preferences and the nature of the study. In-person studies will require your time, while with remote studies, you simply wait for the results. After collecting the data, it's time to analyze the results. Identify any patterns or trends in the data and create a summary report of your findings. Most usability testing platforms will offer visual aids, such as graphs and charts to make the data easier to understand. Based on the results, you can identify any usability issues and make actionable recommendations for improvements. Usability testing can be made easier with platforms like UX Tweak. These platforms offer a range of tools and features suited to every aspect of usability testing. If you're interested in seeing how a usability testing study can look, sign up for a free account on UX Tweak and experiment with the tools firsthand. Just click on the link in the description and get started. If you want to learn more about usability testing, check out our complete guide. The link is also in the description. Like and subscribe to watch more UX-related videos. Until next time.